75 years ago today, the Auschwitz-Birkenau extermination camp was liberated by Soviet soldiers. Each of the 75 lanterns placed around this pool represent a year since that day. The Holocaust saw the systematic murder of millions of Jewish people from across Europe. From Jersey to the Greek islands, men and women and children were rounded up and sent to death camps in Nazi-occupied Poland and Eastern Europe. There, they were subject to unimaginable cruelty, including forced labor, medical experimentation, and murder. More than six million people, around seven in every 10 European Jews were killed. Other groups of people were also cruelly targeted based on their ethnicity, political outlook, disability, and sexual orientation. In Auschwitz, Birkenau alone, more than one million people were murdered. The Holocaust is one of the darkest chapters in human history. Although that word history suggests distant events in a far off age, 75 years is really nothing at all. For many of us here, these barbarities took place in our own parents' lifetime. And sadly, genocide has not been consigned to the history books. Just over 40 years ago, the Khmer Rouge claimed the lives of over one and a half million people, representing a quarter of the country's entire population. 26 years ago, almost one million people were butchered in just 100 days as genocide tore, tore through Rwanda. And in a few months' time, we will mark the 25th anniversary of the murder of more than 8,000 men and boys in Srebrenica, just 50 years after the world said <coughs> never again to the horrors of the Holocaust, genocide did indeed return to Europe. This terrible record demands we challenge hatred and bigotry wherever we see it. Tolerance and reconciliation aren't about international treaties. It starts in our homes, our schools, our workplaces, and our communities. When we say never again, let's make sure that we really mean it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. As the sun is about to set, I now invite the Mayor to light the first yard tight on my memorial candle. Our volunteers and staff who are in the blue vests around us will be happy to help you all light a candle if you'd like it to take a moment to remember all those who were murdered or suffered in the Holocaust. Thank you.
You can hear me? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Hi. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I would just like to take a few minutes of your time to recite the memorial prayer for the dead. For me. Yiskadav, Yiskadash, Shemayrabo, Romotivo, Ferisi, the Yamrich Malkisai, the Chaychan, the Yamkan, the Chayan, the whole base Israel, Bagono, his man Kadidi Muaman, the Heshmai Rabamabora, the Olam Leomayo Mayo Yisbara, the Yisbak, the Yisbar, the Shmambis, the Savis, the Darvis, the Levis, the Low, Shemai Kudisho, Prehu. I love Minko Brachoso, the Chiroso, the Chiroso, the Vecamoso, the Amiron, the Omar, the Yimru, the Main, the Heish, the Lomo, the Rabo, the Min Shamayo, the Chaim, the Lainu, the Alko Israel, the Yimru, the Main. I say Shalom, Bimbo Moth, who yashes, Shalom, Bimbo Moth, the Main. Thank you. Thank you.